In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use Filmic Pro's device menu to access a range of powerful settings on iOS. If you want the Android version of this tutorial, hit the info card in the upper right of the player. Start by tapping the cog icon to open settings, then tap device. First up, you have the option to turn on save to camera roll. When enabled, this will save your recorded clips directly to the Photos app instead of the Filmic library. This is useful if you're low on available storage and intend to edit your clips on your iOS device, as they will be instantly accessible in apps like iMovie or Pinnacle Studio. However, there are two major drawbacks with using this feature that you should be aware of. Firstly, saving to the Filmic library is the only way to ensure that your clips are saved at their native maximum quality, free from any post-processing that iOS may introduce now or in the future during the save to the camera roll. Secondly, when clips are saved to the Filmic library, they're saved with the incredibly helpful file name structure of the month, day, year, followed by the time of the capture in hours, minutes, and seconds. If you save to the camera roll, you get a random file name devoid of any meaning. Remember, you can export from the Filmic library to your camera roll if you want to edit on your device, storage permitting. So my advice is whilst this is a handy feature to have access to, you should avoid it unless absolutely necessary. Below this is one of my favorite features, Stitch Recorded Footage. When enabled, if you tap outside of the settings menu, you'll notice that the record icon in the lower right has changed. We now have the ability to pause and resume our recording as many times as we want, and when finished, have Filmic Pro automatically stitch it together for us as a single video clip. Tap once to start your recording, and then press pause. Set up your next shot, then tap the record icon again to resume, and then pause when you're finished. You can do this as many times as you want, and when finished, you just need to tap and hold the record icon to save your shots as a single stitched file. If I tap the Filmic Library icon and play back the clip, you can see that it's been seamlessly stitched together. This is great if you want to create a short montage to upload to the web without having to use an editing app. Next, we have the ability to enable Snap Focus, and this will give you a more aggressive and responsive focus reticle. With this off, you can see that as I adjust the focus reticle, I get a nice smooth focus change from the foreground to the background and then back again. If I now enable Snap Focus and perform the same move again, you can see it's more aggressive and much quicker to respond. This is ideal for shooting live action where the focal point is unpredictable and changes rapidly. Next up is the orientation lock, and when enabled, it will lock your currently selected orientation. I like to enable this with my device in landscape with the lens at the top, as it saves me from accidentally shooting with the phone upside down, as the interface will rotate when it's left unchecked. Preview Active is enabled by default and controls whether the camera view is displayed on screen. If I turn this off, the preview turns black, and we are just left with the user interface and reticles. If we enable Tap to Hide Interface, Hide Reticles with Interface is also automatically enabled. And if I tap outside to close the menu, tapping once will hide everything. You might be wondering why you'd want to do this. One example is if you're filming a live event and don't want your iPhone's display distracting the audience. Instead, you could enable the preview while you compose your shot and set the focus and exposure. Then open the device menu and disable the preview, and with Tap to Hide interface enabled, close settings by tapping outside it, then start your recording and tap once on the screen for a distraction-free recording experience. When your shot is done, tap once on the screen to reveal the interface and stop the recording and re-enable the preview. Lastly, enable remote if you want to control Filmic Pro wirelessly from another iOS device that's running the companion app, Filmic Remote, but we're going to cover this in much more detail in a later tutorial.